Welcome back to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. I'm Mike Itai. And if you missed this morning's conversation, we were asking guys back at home, you guys, what would you do with 100 million Kenyan shillings if you won? Mm. Russian was uh, thinking she should run away to some foreign country. Probably. Start a new life and buy a new deck. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and buy decks. He was lying to life. us. He was saying uh, she would give her 10% to, to this, 30% uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. to that, 0%. Uh, yeah. That's a wongo. <laughs> yeah. She said she would give actually 10% to the church. Uh. And you're like, wongo. She's lying. Why? I know she would buy shoes. That's the first thing. And then the coins are Gucci nails. store, nails. red bottoms. And nails. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's a thing. And nails. <laughs> uh, now I want to jump into this interview. Someone so talented. I've known her for a while now. She's one of the best, best, best live performers that we have in this country. And I think in East Africa, really. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Victoria Gishora. <laughs> Such a, such a nice intro. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know, right? You mm. feel it's like it's your, not your an eulogy or something. Mm. You're giving like no, she's no, the no, best. No. I'm trying no, to be no. charming. See, you're saying uh, I wasn't being a gentleman. He's not a in gentleman, morning, by so. the way. Heads Aww. up. Yeah. I, I, I am a gentleman. I think he I am a, is. I Victoria think knows me. I you guys don't know me. Are oh, you waiting to win a hundred? Flowers? Days. No, no, no. You know, flowers are kind of intimate, so it needs one special someone. I'll be I mean, if you have any flowers, I don't mind, honey. See? I don't yeah. mind. See? Okay. Okay. Have to Boy, child. Boy, <laughs> child. <laughs> Boy, child. <laughs> <laughs> now, Victoria, you've been in the scene for quite a while. Yes. Uh, you've uh, done everything. You, you've performed live. Mm -hmm. uh, you've recorded. Actually, we're going to debut one of our songs. It's so awesome, mm -hmm. Penzi Sumu. But you. before that, uh, I want to talk about like your inspiration when you were growing up. Because uh, I think, uh, was it more jazz influenced? Jazzy bluesy? Well, I, I grew up listening to uh, a lot of um, R&B. R&B. Hip hop. Because of my, my, my older sisters. Mm. And uh, oh, Lingala. Oh, oh yeah. Now that is a shock to me because when I hear your background vocals that you put on your tracks, yes. definitely like, I can feel a sense of jazz and blues. Yes. And like that old, yes. old country, old school type yes. of blues. But Lingala? But I grew up listening. Imagine, listen, back then you do a party if you, there's no Lingala or old school hip hop. Then it's not a party. That's not a party. And your jeans have to be cut. They, uh. you know, and you have to those, those do, do you know how to do the. Oh, I can, honey, I could, I could dance in circles. I could dance. Did you, little Russian? Uh, do you have a Lingala <laughs> track no, right there? No. <laughs> yes, Stop no. Let me see you. Uh, Dance. Uh. If I dance in Lingala, will you like sing it to me in Russian? <coughs> uh, no. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? No, you're supposed to be dancing. Trust you me, we'll make you dance Lingala <laughs> before exactly. the end of the show. <sighs> so just prepare for that mental physical. Work my way up to that. Do we need to stretch Your for that? But I worked I out in the morning, so I'm fine. So, ah, <laughs> but <laughs> enough said. Enough so said. We put a Lingala song. <laughs> Let's just focus on dance so move for now. Yeah. You know? mm. The Lingala <coughs> dance coming up. So well, like uh, okay, let's say Sa Lingala. Yeah, so but I grew up listening to So any any like you're influenced by every type of uh, genre. Anyway, I, I I was always on on glued to the TV when I was a kid. I, I wasn't a social baby. I was I got into arts, I think immediately I came out of my my mom's womb because she's always telling me you've been an artist since Mm. You know, you were singing. Only yeah. talk like la 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 la. la. <laughs> but I came out, you know, uh, shouting a lot because I wasn't beating. It was a it's a long story how I was born. But then my mom always says you were, you were born musically, so mm. you've had it in you. So I was always glued to the TV. I was watching Utna when I was a kid. Utna. Yeah, I don't know if any of you, I don't know if some of you remember that. But yeah, I was always listening to African music. I was on, you know, the Ivon Chaka Chakas, the you know Brenda Farsi. So I got exposed to different kinds of genres mm. ever since I was a kid so I think that's also helped me when I'm you know in my music writing or arranging or producing mm. yes I'm sure by now like uh, now you're older you're more seasoned so to speak <laughs> yeah. in terms of music okay. but way back when uh, with those all those influences the genres that you're listening to the African influences as yes. well yes who are you looking up to uh, when you were younger? Who, who, who did you, like, uh, I want to be that? I want to be that. Miriam Makeba. Miriam Makeba. Oh, man. Why her? It's, 
she had a she, like she was a force like this I, she she's a, she's one of the strongest women that I've ever met as an artist as a woman as an activist mm. she you know she even even when she was in exile she was still making music in a foreign country mm. about the, her country and you know they're still fighting for independence and they got it way after mm. she was still fighting for all this and then she was a musician she's a vocalist she you know she she was just a force uh, 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 um, in whole in, uh, in whole you know what I mean yeah. and she took her craft very seriously and with all the respect that she could give it and I I emulate that she inspires my my work my writing the way I carry myself as an artist and yeah that's self, that's uh, someone to you know definitely emulate. Yes. There was a time she she was even being referred to as Mama Africa. Yes, right? I'd, I'd give her that title. Yeah. <laughs> and it's sad she left. She left you know before I met her. I, I because I did a cover of her song. Mm. It's on, on my YouTube channel, and I wish I would have met her. And let what's me your, tell you, what's your favorite uh, Miriam Makeba song? Mama Njialila mm. and uh, Hapo Zamani. And money. yeah, half of the money. I think it's that's a song that you know I relate to because you know half of the money, sikuwa ivi, shauri wa pombe. These are things that I've grown up, you know, ex seeing and experiencing. And mm. so you uh, always felt like you can relate to whatever she's yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Do you yeah. try to do that with your own songs, like mm. uh, to? Uh, not really like steal some of the influences mm -hmm. and incorporate them mm -hmm. in your music, mm -hmm. but to try to be like her in the way you project, like, <laughs> was. Um, I mean, I think I, I, uh, I don't know, how to, I don't, I don't want to say project, but mm. maybe um, embody her, embody her character when I'm doing her song like Kapo Zamani mm. and Mama and Jialila, and I. Because I'm also an actor, yeah. and every time I do a, a, a different kind of character or something like this one is most of the songs are in Zulu, and I, I was always trying to learn it, you know, because it's 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 you know we like we are rich, we are rich with culture, yeah. and I, I if I get a chance to do something in Zulu, I want to do it, but I also want to understand everything that I'm saying, why was she saying what she was saying, mm. you know what I mean, so that I can also see how I relate to to the lyrics or or what she was going through when she was probably writing that song mm. so, yeah nice yeah. <laughs> You said you're an actor as well. Yes. Uh, you're about to do an iFlix series real soon. Uh, oh, it's Ghana. Yeah, it's already it's out. It's already aired. Yes, 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 yes. Tell us about your character. <laughs> Which character are you playing in, in Ghana? I am playing OCPD. OCPD. Mm. So you have to be harsh or something? Uh, or are you the yeah. nice cop? Uh, I'm so far, <laughs> I am this strict hands on kind of cop but as the seasons evolve which you know i don't want to give spoiler alerts mm. you get to see different sides of the ocpd because uh it's not a cliche or the way we portray uh, cops mm. is like this you know serious but they also have faults they're human mm. you know what i mean they make so mistakes so you're trying to humanize hu yes we are, mm. i think maybe that's what the vision of the show is i don't want to say much about it because i'm not the creator or the producer yeah. but i would imagine that they want to show different sides of this character uh, and uh, you know uh, and not just being an ocpd Mm. Yes, how she relates to people out of the office, mm. uh, what kind of a person she is, the mistakes she makes, does she come back from her mistakes, does she learn, does she become a better person, because that's also what kind of the, the society we are trying to portray right now, we are trying to show what is going on, mm. but then how we would want things to be in the future. Mm. So, yes. <laughs> nice, uh, you've done uh, theatre, yes, and now theater. you've done TV. Yes. I can't obviously like ask you uh, between the two which one do you prefer? I can't. Oh, theatre. I mean, I'm not thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it is theatre. I love theatre. Uh, is it because of the musicals or what? Um, I think it's oh, it's maybe it's or also the, the of it all. because if you mess yeah, up, you mess up. You're on stage and it's you and and I'm I'm showing you what it is now. Mm. You know, there is no rehearsal about it. The, at, on that moment, there is no take one, take mm. five. Mm. I feel like, I mean, I love TV. I have nothing against it. But I just feel like we, we could do, we could incorporate a lot of theater. 
before mm. we do a lot of TV as an so actor. So you would rather focus be put on theater at the moment in terms of <laughs> Not at the moment, because oh. at the moment there is no money in theater. There's <laughs> the no money in theater. Yeah. 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 It's there, but maybe I'm not seeing it. I mean, if there's this person who has this money for the theater, please. Kuna pay. kalik mahali. Yeah, kama kuna lik, nataka kujua fele yuko, ndi yota mimi ni chune kidogo. Mm. But theater is thrilling, it's exciting, it's... it's so much fulfilling and uh, i think also maybe it's because when you do a lot of tv you know it's cut take two cut take three you get mm, what i mean mm. and you you f you kind of have to put a lot of focus in this in this character and doing more takes and more takes and for some artists it makes them lazy actors mm, because mm. you always have lines and yeah you know whenever i see dj yeah. little russian i think she can hack it do you actor. think she can hack it? Can, can, can you give her like a something like a five second scene <laughs> like to <what>? do? Because <laughs> you also produce, no, don't why you? Why is she laughing? <laughs> I don't know why she's laughing. I didn't <laughs> say anything funny. Even if you're about to say something really, really <laughs> no, no, cheesy, no, 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 yeah. Everyone is going to do a challenge, even myself. So wait, what's my challenge? But I'm going now? to give myself that challenge. <laughs> what's my challenge now? Uh, mm -hmm. Give her like something. Like something. Yeah. Let's say if she's coming to audition, mm -hmm. what would you tell her to do so that you, like, yeah. picture a role for her? All right. Well, MC for me, as a as a DJ, and this is your stage, well, and this is a you DJ. have this is a private you know, party and it's mm -hmm. it's one of those headphones particles I've been talking about that this whole week. So, you know, mm -hmm. sell it to me. You you know, I'm the crowd. I'm I'm paying you a million mm. a million, million shillings for party million, of me. I think Person I slim. Why, why do I feel a million I'd like go topless? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <yeah>. go. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> no, don't go topless. Don't don't do that. I, I won't don't try to do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean you I'm seeing so this is you in a in a stage mm -hmm. and stage. you know yeah. so there you go. And yeah, and, and, and what do you listen to? Because no, yeah, it's you. No, 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 it's, it's, your, you. it's your playlist. It's your, it's your thing. So you try to sell that to me. Like, yeah, I'm not uh, yeah. Wow, that is really a challenge, you know. And is like, it though? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's Russian on the ones and twos. Your boyfriend's favorite. I was going to say uh, girlfriend. Uh, your boyfriend's uh, favorite. <laughs> <laughs> You just went right to the punchline, like your uh, boyfriend's yeah. favorite. Your boyfriend's favorite DJ, and I'm here MCing, you know, taking it on the ones and twos. Mm. Yeah, something like that. Right. And a DJ exactly. Little Russian is not playing. She's coming for your boyfriend. Like, did you see her? Did you hear her? <laughs> but so that's awesome. I'm so pro producing I am, an action. I am bold. <laughs> uh, you are. The challenges are different, obviously, because yeah. of the production, you're, it's more directing uh, the people like you just did, yeah? But that's direct. But directing is directing. Uh, that's that's what in I terms of like production yeah. uh, and in coming up with uh, whatever. In production needs to is you know you're in your own element yeah. and you're making all the mistakes that you can make and all you're trying to express how you want the sound. The, like for me, it's like that one. I'm trying to explain mm. a sound to a producer. I'm like, okay, so I want I want the to go like, ah, but then at this point, ah. yeah. so it's a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so you're trying to express yourself uh. because obviously I don't know all the terminology. Which one, which one is easier? And which one would you rather do if you were to choose between the two? Producing and acting in theater. And acting in theater. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, and, and why is music in this? Because you just said producing <laughs> and why, why not singing? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's say. Producing and singing. Producing and singing, and, and, and I mean singing, singing. in a singing. musical. Which one would you choose? Oh, between singing. Oh, singing. Singing. Oh, yes. Most definitely. Oh. Oh yes, I want to be on that stage. Uh -huh. I want to be the one shouting and 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 you know, doing the vocal runs. You look into my eyes, people. But yeah, I hey, was speaking of vocal runs, <laughs> hey, yours, <laughs> hey, I've only, eh? Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Uh, you like uh, to perform live? You have a I gig. Love uh, is I it a weekly gig? No, it's not. Mm. I just did a gig in March, early early March, and uh, yeah. That's the recent gig that I've done mm. at the Blues. It was Music Freedom Day. And uh, yeah, it's not a regular, it was just a one-time gig. Mm. Yes. Uh, would you be open, open to that, like a regular gig, like oh a yes. weekly? Thing? Even la last year I was doing, I had, I had a few regular gigs. Mm. It's just, you know, change, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But change is good. Change is good. Because now we finally, like finally. Finally. Huh? 
finally the videos are out oh my word uh, you, you and a lot of people uh, yes i i yeah, agree so many people yes because they're like where is the video to pay Banana, so? you, you know the first time i had paid you even song. asked me that i remember i remember I, yeah. I, I, we, I think we even fought about it and it's your yeah. music <laughs> it's I, I think we fought yeah <laughs> We did. I was like, why? Why are you not doing this know, video? Video. And you know, it's, it's hard trying to explain to, you to know, the crowd. a media pers yeah. person, you know, either producer, an artist, a presenter, whatever, trying, you know, trying to explain to them that, you know, uh, you know, maybe it's funding or maybe it's, you know, you haven't found the right team to help you, you know, create this. Or you just don't feel like it's the right time yet. <sighs> Oh, was that the situation? No, that was definitely not it. Because it everything it seemed right to be in line. As I in mean, I'm grateful you now that things have worked out. This and this person, so yes. Yeah. But it wasn't really about the time. I, to to me, I think it was about getting the the you know a team that can help me create this, mm. put this vision into reality, and and the, even the people that I wanted to work with. At that time, they, you know, they were kind of busy, and I was like, I really want to work with this person. Mm. So I thought, okay, let me just give it some time, and I, I take this time, then I can be, you know, getting some good funding to, you know, make this thing a whole, you know, beautiful thing as it came out. Yes, nice. But really <laughs> thank nice. you. So I think it was also the the timing. It could be that too, because mm. everything has worked out the way, you know, maybe it was meant to work out. I guess. And I'm not either complaining, way, I'm good. Either way, the yes. world gets to listen to Victoria Gishore, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy too. They'll be happy very soon. I hope so. Mm. But is there an album coming? Yes. The, now, definitely. Now, now, there is an album coming. <laughs> <laughs> that album is definitely coming. Mm. But um, Who's our producing? Who's producing? Uh, different producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've produced some of the songs in my album. Okay. I've had uh, the pleasure of working with other producers who like Benzi Sumo with mm. Wawesh, mm. and that was an amazing experience. And what, what will be like the overall sound? Are you fixated on a certain genre, or mm. are you open as long as you I'm can lay your vocals down? You're good. Yes, as long as it sounds good. I love I love experimenting with different sounds. Yeah. You see, like the way I did the Mia Makeba cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just, I like experimenting. Mm. Maybe there'll be a Django song. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm not Django, but maybe there'll be one. Mm. But yes, there's definitely tracks that are from different dialects, with different, maybe a few collaborations. Mm. I say maybe because I've done collaborations with other artists, but they maybe not all of them will get to be in the, the maybe all, not all the songs will get to be in the album. Mm. Uh, the album, okay, me advocate yeah. for this. You advocate uh, speaking for this. as a fan. Are we gonna I want argue? the album to focus Mike, on Mike, are we going to argue? <laughs> no, so me, I don't mind. You know, I can lay, put my goals down on time. the track with we, you. We, we can go. But <laughs> we, we can go. Okay. Do you want to go? We can go. I told him, yeah, I'm following <laughs> your lead today. I'm, I'm, I'm the guest. Mm. But me, I, but I, I, I want your album mean. to just, you know, to just you be Victoria. Me. Because I think it's about time. Yes. That's how I feel about it. I agree. Mm. I agree. Because I, I, I said that because that's a question that I got from a previous interview or like do you why are you not doing collaborations and I, that's why i'm saying i agree with you because i wanted to focus on you know victoria, you know, victoria Gishore, and yeah. not you know victoria Gishore and victoria Gishore and which is not bad mm. i've but I've, not I now really, now now is your yeah, time not now now, now i'm in my space time. right now i just want to put out victoria Gishore music and we're ready thank you we are so ready <laughs> the album it the album it kusema ukweli ile ukweli sasa ya chawe any for truth mm. <laughs> for truth mm. the end of the year the end, end of, of the year. year so yes. november december there yes definitely 2019 2019 you, you have to make that sure yeah yeah 20. 2021 yeah. and we don't yeah. even know exactly. like a marvel movie no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 corner to cut fish up, but we're waiting for it. Thank you. 2019, end of the year, November, December. Hmm. hmm. Right. But in between, there are a few videos. Yes. So, Victoria yes. Gishore, you can find her on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Penzisimo is already there, but you have about four more that you want to release I got within the. Four, five. Four, five. Four, five. Probably even six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Videos that and I got. All of them, they're going to be. All of them is just me. 
No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying okay. you need to debut them at the. The okay. E, at the <laughs> I see where you're Camilicia <laughs> sentence. You need to debut them e. at the E. Da 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 so make sure you subscribe by the way. Victoria Gishara on YouTube. Awesome vocals. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Why so am I even much. talking anymore? Yeah, Why? You, you just here's Victoria Gishara. Just, do, 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 do just play this one. Just play this. Let's one. play. Let's, <laughs> let's let's listen to it. Listen to it.